The latest increase in the allowance of legislators by almost 50% continues to rattle feathers in many quarters, not least the medical profession. The president of the Uganda Medical Association, Dr. Margaret Mungera, laments that it's an act of selfishness for legislators to be given fat allowances at such a time when the country is in urgent need of funds to contain the Ebola epidemic. It, it is it is it's a paradoxical that people, members of parliament who really should be um, out there trying to, to make sure that, the, that health workers are, are better looked after and now did not do much when it came to advocating for, for an improved remuneration but instead now are increasing their own allowances. So it's absurd and, and I think it is demoralizing for health workers. She also decries the manner in which health experts who are handling the Ebola epidemic are being remunerated and handled. This poor remuneration, according to Mungera, has also been the reason behind the massive exodus of doctors to different countries, which has left the country's health system in balance. They're also training people on how to look after these epidemics. But the, the brain drain is massive. The people who were, retrained, who were trained during Bundibujo are no longer there. There are new people there. Now the people who are trained this time, in a few years' time, they won't be there, and yet these epidemics continue to come. So the, 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 the failure to retain it, 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 it has a negative impact on, on, the, on, the, on the, 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 what you, the effects of training. Now the medical professionals want government to look into their matter if service delivery in the health sector is to improve. Some members of parliament on Monday defended their allowances, describing it as an incentive to attract MPs to attend to parliamentary business. This is being done actually, to actually to cope up with the, with the performance and the quality of work within the committees. It is a normal thing for anybody, anybody who is paid for work done by government to have a salary increment or allowance increment. Meanwhile, the latest information on the Ebola outbreak in Kagadi Hospital, Chivale District, revealed that one more suspected case was yesterday admitted, bringing the total number of admissions to 30 patients. A total of 10 cases have been confirmed to have the virus since the onset of the disease. Out of the 10, three have died, three remain admitted, while four have recovered from the deadly fever. No new deaths have been registered since August 3rd. As Uganda continues to battle with the Ebola hemorrhagic fever outbreak, senior health officials from different hospitals, including in Mulago, have left the country for a better pay, which poses a bigger question, whether this country can handle other epidemics in the near future. Solomon Serwancha, NTV Tonight.